All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's welcome our next fighter making his way to the cage, Matt Law-Jones. Making his way in now, Matt Jones, the 21-year-old fighter. He stands at six feet, three inches tall. He fights out of the orthodox stance. He's a debut fighter tonight, fighting out of Garden Grove, California with Team All In MMA. Has a background in jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai. Yeah, he said he started training about two and a half years ago because he just needed something to do and it was fun. And in talking to him earlier, you could tell he was just a kind of laid back, loose, kind of fun personality type of person that was confident and ready to get in here and just mix it up. Yeah, he says he just wants a good scrap, throw down like I always do. He told us, I just love it all, putting it together in your own funky way. He has some funky style getting down to his own music right now. A tall, lengthy, lanky guy at six foot three. That's a lot of reach. Yeah, he's going to have the, well, a small height advantage, very small. But for six three for his weight, he generally would be dominant. But by now, it looks like it'll be kind of even. If we see his opponent, we'll talk about it later. But it'll be interesting to see what he brings in his debut. And he's been a lifetime athlete, a basketball player. But when he's not doing combat sports, he's a Netflix junkie right now watching Lie to Me. You ever seen that show? Never seen Lie to Me, but he was pretty high on it. I might have to check it out. It's, a, it's about criminal investigators who use your facial expressions to figure out whether you're lying or not. It's pretty interesting. It's called the micro-expressions. They see a small smile in your <laughs> eyes or a small grimace in your face. Top flight entertainment. You know, Matt Jones seemed very relaxed beforehand, which is always great for a young amateur fighter, especially in your debut. It's hard to stay so relaxed. Yeah, he's very loose, very relaxed. You can see him bouncing around the cage. Just nice and relaxed. And his opponent making his way to the cage, Brian DeMurray! Coming in for the blue corner, Brian Damari, standing at six feet, two inches tall, the 27-year-olds from South Pasadena, Highland Park here in California. This is also his debut. The fighters fighting on the Fightworks gym where he trains in Krav Maga, Muay Thai, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, Brian's been training for Muay Thai for three years, and as you noted, this is his debut, but it is also his first competition of any kind in combat sports, not just mixed martial arts, but Muay Thai, boxing, anything. And that's pretty rare for a mixed martial arts fighter. I mean, it's more common now. Now it is, yes. But it used to be you had some experience in Taekwondo competitions and wrestling. But now we're seeing a lot more of these guys who are just, this is the first thing they do. Yes, the development of the sport. I, I, you're right, like Muay Thai, he has three years of Muay Thai. You would have expected some smokers first, but in today's day and age, this is your smoker. What do you say to a guy who it's his first time ever competing in a combat sport? Hands up, chin down, go in there and have fun. Come most, early. Of, most importantly, hands up, chin down. Come early, be loud, stay late, wear orange. Hook them <laughs> horns. Yeah, be first. That's another one I like <laughs> to tell people. Be first. You know, Brian's a bit more reserved than his opponent, Matt Jones. At six foot two, not a big height difference, but it looks like Jones has a pretty significant reach advantage from the two of their builds. We will see how that plays out. You know, Brian said he feels most comfortable kicking, so we might see a lot of stand-up action in this fight. And the kick range will negate some of the reach, but it also may put him at the end of a long counter punch to a high kick, or a low kick, rather. Brian says his plan is being like water. Oddly enough, his favorite fighters are Anderson Silva and Bruce Lee. Back to Sariano to introduce us to the fight. Our next fight of the evening is scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the 185-pound division. Brought to you by WSS Shoes Style Selection. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist making his debut. He stands at six feet, two inches tall, and weighed in at 184.8 pounds, representing all in MMA from Garden Grove, California, Matt Lodge-Jones. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. A Muay Thai, Krav Maga, and Jiu Jitsu practitioner also making his debut. He stands at six feet, one inch tall, and weighing at 184.2 pounds, fighting with the Fight Works from Pasadena, California, Brian Dumari. Man in charge of the action, Mylan Hairs. 
All right, Matt Jones in the red corner, Brian Damari in the blue corner. This middleweight bout will be three two-minute rounds. All right, round one. Brian, you ready to fight? Matt, you ready to fight? Round number one. Fight. Here we go. Jones quick with that right punch, establishing the clinch. You know, Jones holds his body fairly low for a tall guy. Yeah, he came out in a kind of crouch stance. I was more watching, more watching Brian. He looked a little bit nervous there, as you'd expect maybe for your first combat event ever. Well, these two guys trying to establish dominance here against the cage. Good low knees from both gentlemen. Ooh, a good lead jab to come in there for Matt Jones. Wow, Matt's making, yeah, he's throwing a nice variety of punches and coming hard shots. Yeah, Damari List there with an overhand right. Matt Jones rips one to the body. And with the full, that did not work at his plan. He had a double underhooks and a leg trip, ends up on the bottom. You know, Jones went for the takedown there. On the way down, Brian grabbed the cage. The referee did not intervene, though. Okay, I missed that. That's clearly what happened. Now you see that uh, Jones is looking for a triangle here. He's stuffing that wrist down. He's going to fire his leg up and try and secure a triangle choke. But well, that's what it appears. You know, while these two guys are both the same height approximately, Jones is a lot more lanky and much better build for this kind of attack from the bottom. No triangle attempt. It was there, but he's con content to get up, start firing away where he was dominant earlier. You know, Jones is doing a good job, as he said, of being first. Making sure he's getting contact in there. Oh, that's a big right hand. Brian Damari has no idea where he is right now. Yeah, that was directly in front of us. He just zipped one directly down the pipe, hit him clean on the chin, and knocked him out. Wow, that was a clean right hand. Jones coming over, giving a little prayer, showing respect for his opponent. Yeah, I want to see that right hand again. Looked like he set it up with a quick jab and then threw that right. Looked, that was either a straight right or a right cross. I didn't see it. It, was, it just looked like a straight punch. There was nothing lucky about that punch either. You could see his eyes. Matt was literally looking right at the target, fired it through and connected perfectly. Very nice punch and very dominant finish right there. You know, Matt was doing a great job throughout the fight of, of establishing his distance, measuring where the punches were going and following through. And that's why it paid off for him here. Early on with a nice round one knockout. Yeah, and that was a clean knockout. There's no TKO about that. That was beautiful. Brian being led from the cage. He's up of his own volition, though. Always glad to see that. You can't be happier in your pro debut than to get a first round KO. Or in your amateur debut. Oh, excuse me. In, in any <laughs> debut. In your amateur debut to get a pro KO. You know, I first think you can't be KO. happier in any situation than with a round one KO. KOs feel good if you're the one delivering it. And now we're getting a solo call. Matt Jones earns the right to have his hand raised all by his lonesome. And here we go. Good to see that. Brian Namari back in the cage. You know, safety's number one for these young fighters, and we're always happy to see that they're able to get back up be healthy and hopefully come back here stronger and better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the punishment ends one minute, 34 seconds into the first round for your winner by TKO, by, by way of ref stoppage due to strikes out of the red corner, Matt Long Jones. I think it's pretty fair to say that uh, you were able to impose your will, so I am just gonna hand you the mic and let you do your shout out. Hey, first of all, you know, I wanna thank my family. Thank all my friends, man. I, I had a real rough year, to be honest with you. And this is the best thing that could happen to me. Also, it's my mom's birthday today. Uh, she, uh, she can't watch, you know, but uh, I just wanna let her know that one was for her right there, okay? Thank you very much. Well earned victory, sir. Give it up for him, Matt Jones! Matt Jones with some sharp striking. Here we go, seeing the finish again. Thank you, sir. 
and you see what he's doing there. He's mixing it up. There was a jab to the head, a jab to the body, and a cross, hook, and a cross. That's how you mix up your opponent, keep them guessing. Very nice job of putting his hands together for a guy who's only been training two and a half years to really control the fight and set up a knockout punch. Well, again, you can see the maturity there, measuring that distance first before throwing the power punch rather than just winging right out the gate. Yep, and the low high and just mixing everything up. Nice uh, birthday present for, for mom. Here we see it again. Oh, right on the button. I notice how he really turns on that right hand. Watch his shoulder go over, boom. You can see the power going all the way through the chin. Yeah, he had everything on that. And when you see a fighter's head spin around like that, they get knocked out. Hook, cross. Felt like a gif seeing that one go so many times. 